So we've come a long way in this series, and hopefully by now you have a really solid grasp and understanding of what Rig River Pro can do. Now, at this point, there's usually two trains of thought when it comes to working with virtual instruments. One would be to simply leave this instantiated as a virtual instrument, and the other would be to have a look at doing things like exporting individual layers and some of these sounds to their own tracks for further control further on down the line in the mixing process. Now, if you choose that you just want to go ahead and leave this instantiated as a virtual instrument, I want to take a look at some settings that we have available, which might help in terms of the mixing process. So let's just go ahead here. I'm just going to close this for a moment and let's go ahead and bring up our mixing console. I'm going to go ahead, rewind back to the beginning here and let's go ahead and press play. Okay. So you can see here, we have a really, really healthy level. Actually, let's just stop that for the time being. Now, one thing worth mentioning is that I also have a limiter that's sitting on my master fader just to protect from any overs while I'm recording this video. So you can see that I have a little bit of reduction happening here, about 1 dB, which is just like I said, protecting me from any overs. But having said that, there are also some tools available from within Regroover Pro. Most of the time that I'm using this, I really like to take advantage of some of the multi-out export options and capabilities so that I can have further control while I'm mixing. But if I'm in a pinch and I'm just doing something really quick, it's worth mentioning that we do have some additional controls within Regroover Pro that can help in terms of our master effects and levels. So first things first, we have an output slider. Now this output slider is gonna affect the overall stereo output of this plugin. So for example, if I take this down right now, you can see that it's brought everything down relative to each other. So this is just like a fader on the output of this plugin, and we can bring this up or down as needed. Now, most of the time, I usually like to control things from within the layers. I have a rule, maybe it's a little bit more of an OCD thing, where I like to leave my master outputs at zero, and I like to affect the level of my source tracks. But in a pinch, it's worth mentioning that if you have a nice balance going between your layer mixer, you have some effects dialed in, and you just need to bring the level up or down, we have this output slider, which can be really handy. And then as we know, shift clicking this will return it back to its default value. Now, in addition to that, we also have this limiter. Now, when we activate this limiter, this is gonna protect us from any overs. So for example, right now, I'm gonna take off my limiter that I have on my master chain. Let's go ahead and let's activate this limiter over here. It's a little bit hard to see here, but we have two choices, either off or limit. And now if I was to go into these individual layers and bring these up, we're not gonna have any overs. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and press play. I'm just gonna bring down my overall master over here, but let's keep our eye on this track. Let's move this out of the way, and I'm just gonna start bringing these up. You can see that it's pretty much hard clipping everything off over here. And we also have a peak light as well. So this is a great way to just protect your output. If you wanna leave this set up as a stereo instrument track and you really don't have any need or desire to convert it or export it to audio, and you just need to keep the levels in check and you need to regain stage things, just engage this limiter and you can also use this main output fader over here to dial back or dial up your level as needed. So that would be an example of using this as a stereo instance. Now in the next video, I wanna start looking at some of the multi-out capabilities that we have within Regrouper Pro. We'll catch you in the next video.